Hey everyone, Dev here. Welcome to Taiko Frenzy Overview. Before trying this game, I've never had an opportunity to do it on any other platform or in real life for that matter. Maybe a small glimpse I had was back in my OSU days where I was tryharding through some bitmaps and then Taiko was uh, some sort of a side mode to the core game. I never understood how it worked nor its controls, but with this via title, I think any doubts were instantly diminished. So Taiko Frenzy is a rhythm simulator game where you need to unleash your inner Taiko master and drum up to the beat utilizing a singular percussion in front of you to create harmonic melodies and peaceful tunes. That last part was definitely a lie because this whole project is so chaotic that I would deem it as the most dynamic room game that's in the store pretty much. It's not necessarily about the speed of the notes or how fast the track goes, but because you have to focus on one circular thing and combining multiple moves and mechanics at once, things could get out of hand real quick. The graphics are fairly decent, I appreciated that the environment wasn't as busy because visually it would just disturb me full there, which I don't need to be. <laughs> In terms of the performance and dynamic, everything seemed flawless to me and as a first Taiko representation on the store, I feel like this is a very good representation of a genre that might not be as popular, but it definitely has a kick to it. Let's roll into the frenzy. What is going on? Why do I have small stone people look at me? That's some kind of Japanese ambient environment thing. <laughs> Seems solid. I mean, the water is pixelated for some reason, but the rest of the environment pretty seamless. So it's a percussion game. Should be straightforward. I mean, that's quite simple, no? Actually, from the days of playing Osu, if anyone knows this realm, <laughs> I think Taiko was part of some song selections, but I was always confused what the hell is it about. So this might be a good opportunity to see what's up. I mean, we're living in the reality of Beat Saber, like, I wonder if something else will come up here. A side? Oh! See, maybe that's what I didn't get before.
interspears. Now we're talking. <laughs> I think there is some potential here, for sure. Yeah, it might be a bit awkward because it's the same direction, but something's off in a good way. <laughs> hey. Like my brain barely computes. What? Ah. Okay. I love how so many mechanics are put in a one small drum. Yeah, that's just scores and stuff. It's a long tutorial.
That was a fair idea, but that's okay. Okay. <laughs> I think I'll just do something random. Apparently there is MR. Which nowadays every developer kinda puts it as an addition. not that easy but I mean a very different gameplay from what I'm used to really it's close to percussion but I feel like it's much harder because you focus on one area with so many different movesets possible <laughs> beats
What the? <laughs> it's an exercise. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> Overall, I feel like this game definitely has a niche to fill in because I don't think or saw any game of that sort before. On the first glance, it seems easy, but once you get into the overall groove, then it picks up. <laughs> Performance wise and with features, this is pretty much perfect and flawless. With the environment, I don't think you need anything more because more would be just a distraction for the main thing here. So if those little creatures and the river part would be upgraded with better resolution, then that's pretty much a complete project. As a Taiko itself, I've never tried before. Now I'm familiar with the mechanics and everything that's involved in it. It is definitely challenging and an unexpected workout because I'm just dripping here.